what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Tactical Talks. In this video, this is kind of a part two of a video series that really has multiple parts to it. It's uh, my AR pistol as you guys know from the thumbnail. Not only am I showing you guys what it looks like, now I still don't have the MBUS backup sights. I mentioned that in the previous video. I still haven't put them on there. I need to, I know I do, but I've just been running the EOTech, have not really shot this thing. But I do carry this as a truck gun. Now, the reason that I'm showing you guys this video is because I want to show you guys options, right? First off, I want to show you guys what I'm running here, why I run it this way. Um, you guys can check out those other videos, or if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. But the reason that I'm showing you this gun is this is one of my favorite, if not the favorite gun of mine, you know, that I own. Excuse me. So... This gun is 100% clear, nothing in the magwell, we're good to go, okay? So, the reason I'm showing you this gun, in the, in the previous video, like I said, I ran through all the parts, I ran through changing out the hand stop, changing out the optic, changing out the light, um, and just kind of little changes here and there. These are a huge, huge controversy right now, we're not going to be talking about that. As far as right now, as far as the making of this video, this is still not illegal, so we'll leave it at that. This is a pistol, and that's what it is. It don't matter what anybody else says. But the part that I want to show you guys is this little piece right here. Now, some of you guys already know what this is. Some of you guys saw the thumbnail, and you have a pretty good idea of what I'm talking about. But the reason that I'm showing you this is because when these things first came out, turn the light on, when these things first came out, it was a huge, huge deal. And I, was, I remember telling myself, I have to have one of those. I, I want that, right? Well, there was one company who I'm not going to mention who came out with it. And when I, if I remember correctly, when they first came out, it was about a $200 to $250 part. Now, I'm not saying don't spend money. And I'm not saying that it's not worth it. But for me at the time, I just could not justify spending that much money on what I considered a luxury part, right? It's not something that helped my weapon function any better it just added a, a small amount of convenience to the system that I was running, right? So I spent money on other things that I felt like were going to help me shoot better, were going to help stabilize the gun, as well as spending money on the ammo to go out and shoot the gun so that I can be proficient with the gun, okay? So with that being said, some time passes, another company comes out. I'm not going to mention their name, but it comes out if I remember, for almost $100 cheaper. Again, from what I understand, a great product. Never heard anything negative about them at the time, and even still now, still did not think that I wanted to spend that amount of money. A friend of mine, shout out to my buddy Frank, found a link online and said, hey, have you seen this? Send it to me. I immediately start doing some research, start looking some stuff up. Now, some of you guys are going to say, that's not made in America, that's not this, that's not that. I get it, I understand some of you guys only want to buy American made products. I try to do that when it's feasible. At the same time, I also have money I need to save or I want to save. So if I don't have to spend hundreds of dollars more, then I won't. Now, if I end up spending less money trying out a product and it works, great, I win. If it doesn't work and it breaks or I have any issues, no harm, no foul. I didn't spend as much as I could have spent and then risk, you know, that product not working either. But here's the product right here. We'll get right into it. So there's a little button. I don't know how well you guys are going to see right there where my finger is. You push the button in. It's going to be in towards me. And then this thing folds over just like this. Look how small this package is, right? Now, it is loose. It doesn't lock back into place when it comes back up. Not a huge problem for me when I store this thing. It's usually stored muzzle down. So it sits just like this, whether it's in a backpack, whether it's in my truck. And this does fit in a backpack. Now it's got to be a little bit larger backpack. It's not going to be a little sling body bag or, um, you know, one of these minimalistic bags. It's going to be a pretty good sized backpack. But the thing is, I can still fit it in a backpack and still carry my backpack around with this in here and not be alarming to other people around me. But again, the other thing is, is it fits perfect in my truck. Now, when it flips back open, you'll do the same thing. You'll push the button, 
to re-engage that hinge and it's locked. Everything cycles the way it normally would without issue, or at least I've had zero issues with this one. Just like that. Now this one, I'm not going to leave the link down in the description, YouTube's not a fan of that, but I will say is if you Google the word travel and then T-O and then the word quest, you might find a website. And on that website, you will find Gen 3 hinge, or I don't remember what exactly what it's called, but it's an AR folding buttstock or hinge buttstock, buttstock hinge. You'll find it. It is very inexpensive, especially compared to the products that are out. Now, what I can tell you is, from my personal experience, I have very few rounds through this thing. I've had zero malfunctions so far. I'm not endorsing this product and saying this is the best thing out there. I'm not saying it's better than the other, other products. And this definitely is not sponsored. All I am telling you is that I found this cheaper and it's worked so far. So as far as right now, I'm a fan of it. Long term, I will keep you guys updated and let you guys know what's going on. But this is by far one of my favorite guns. Again, all it's missing is... The front and back backup sight and this thing is complete now there's one other product that I considered getting and what that product does is it makes it to where your whole barrel assembly handrail everything twist pops right off and then your weapon whether it's an SBR or in my case a pistol once this comes off it lines up with this and it makes it to where it's from here to here that is the length of the entire weapon system you can throw all three pieces or technically two pieces because this stays on the gun two pieces in a backpack and when you pull it out of the backpack all you do is flip this open lock this back into place get the barrel assembly put it on turn it click and it's ready to go just like that and it makes it super super small in my opinion I just think that's kind of a cool luxury thing to have again if you guys are looking for what should I spend my money on I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money, but initially I wanted to spend it on better optics, um, things that were going to help the gun function better in my opinion, as well as the ammo, like I said, to be more proficient. But now that I've got to a point where I feel very comfortable with this weapon system, and I found this, which was very inexpensive, I wanted to get to a point where, you know what, let's get this thing the way I want it to be, and not necessarily the way it needs to be per se, but... Let me know what you guys think of this. If any of you guys have ever ordered anything off that site and had any issues, comment down below. If you've heard anything, whether it's positive or negative, comment down below. I'd like to know. Like I said, as far as I know, I haven't seen too many negative things. The biggest negative thing that I see online is just kind of as a whole. It's like, well, these aren't American made. They're shipped from here or there. I could care less where the part comes from as long as I get a decent deal on it and it works. That's all I care about. But let me know what you guys think of this. Are you guys interested in a folding sock on your ARs? This is one of the most common platforms. If you guys have been looking for something like this, um, maybe this is an option for you. Something to keep in mind for those of you that don't know, this weapon will not function and will not cycle in this folded position. So keep that in mind. A lot of people might think to themselves, well, I can fold it, it's even smaller. You have to remember, this has to go right back into place so that your entire buffer system, everything still works the way it was designed to work. All this thing does right here, on top of creating the hinge, there's a little plug that goes in the back which kind of extends your bolt and your bolt carrier group so that it can still have enough length to push your buffer and your buffer spring and then push everything forward and cycle the way it's supposed to. But just kind of a little side note, let me know what you guys think of this. What you what you know, what do y'all think about this gun that I have and if you want to see any more of this. So I guess that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. Remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you guys on the next one.